Now, this is a shrimp pattern I'm going to be tying uh, in the video. Now, it's called the creeper shrimp. It's basically named after the material I'm using. Now, the, the reason of uh, I'm using it, I got asked, I recently tied a fly, uh, a, a cicada fly, using uh, an olive uh, chenille, like a, a leggy chenille, and that's here, it's here. And it was called FNF uh, Creeper. In this case, this was the olive I used. And they asked if there's any other colours. I said, well, on any other patterns. The most obvious fly would probably be using this chenille. Would be like a, a woolly bugger or something like that. Uh, there's some other colours. I always said, put it right way. It's black. There's red. And this is the bone fish. This is the one I'm using. So it's a lovely colour for shrimp like patterns, so and this would be this would be a good uh, basic um sea trout fly or uh, obviously any saltwater fish as so one fish would take it. Uh patterns just to show off the material to show you the material. Because I get so many messages about it, I thought well we'll tie another fly using it and if, when I see the, the bone fish colour it's ideal for a shrimp so so this is a fly I'm going to be tying, uh, simply called the, the creeper shrimp. The hook is a size one, this is a partridge hook. Uh, basically it is a barbed hook, uh, it's a shrimp style hook, you can use whatever hook you have, what company you've got. Uh, I've flattened the barb and the vise, so uh, obviously catch and release. Thread, again it's up to yourself, just use the white thread, this is an 8-0. Use a 6-0 if you want, or you can use another one or two. UTC is quite a good thread. It covers really quick. Now I've waxed the thread, so I'm going to take down the thread until I'm in practically line with the point of the hook, meaning once I get to here I can let it go. I'm in line with the point. Now for the, the legs or the feelers and the shrimp, it's basically the feelers rather than the legs, I'm using a white bucktail, so you don't need many fibres. Just about an hour, it's fine. So, remove this one. Length, basically, it's up to yourself. I mean, it can be quite long. Um, I would say, if you look at anything, if we're going to size it, say twice the hook, so over the back. So we can tie that one to the top. Nice and tight. I'm just going to trim it short distance from where I tied it in four or five mil or so. Uh, I've got some micro crystal flash and pearl. Takes two strands out and then when you catch it in the centre the length of the just slightly short full length of the the feelers so I'm just going to catch that on the top. At this point I'm just going to pinch the thread up and fold back the other two lengths so we'll get double up on it. And there we are, that's basically formed at that point. Now, the, putting the eyes on, is, uh, it's up to yourself, you can put them on just now. Uh, in my case, what I like to do is put a wee bit of leg in there as well. So what I'm going to do is tie in. This is a, basically it's a, it's a kind of salmon pink flesh colour. It's, to get this I use like a coral, but it's very lightly, it's a nice, just a light dye and it's not much of the dye, so that's just a Chinese neck, cock neck. There's lots of other fibres you could use, so I'm going to catch this in, just this point, and these all represent the, the, fine, the smaller legs. Now, what I'm going to do here is just put a tiny bit of UV dubbing, this is just a diamond bright dubbing from Spirit River. This gives a wee bit of UV as well, but I, I like to wind it onto a bit of dubbing. It's quite loose like, so we just wind through it a wee bit. And then, these are the shorter legs for the shrimp. Just at the back. Just wind through it like a small palmer, nice and tight. It's fine, happy with the length. 
you can tie this off and you break it away once I've tied it in you can cut it away it's up to yourself and I'm just going to get some velcro and I'm going to brush out some of the, the UV around then we tie in the legs oh, sorry the eyes these are the the easy shrimp eyes um, I'll just show you the company this one they are easy shrimp eyes you could buy them in different colours obviously blacks I'm using in this one you can use orange or fluorescent there's many colours there's even light there's a blue the length of the eyes is I usually try or keep them within the bend of the hook very easy to tie this on so we just basically catch it on the top they're both formed together and there's a nice rib on the plastic which helps you give you lots of grip so I'm just going to wind up and come back down quickly with the thread securing this in there we are nice and tight all the way down and there we are it's a simple dressing now with a white bucktail on the, the back of the bucktail we've got this natural colour at the back so what I'm going to do is use some of these fibres just to darken the top of the shrimp so cut away some of the fibres so this just basically we want to just gives it a nice colour nice blend of the white and grey very shrimp like you tie this on the top nice pinching loop or two just to see and you use this to help thicken up the body so trim at a slight angle and then again, I'm just going to run this up again, just to tidy things, or just to hold it down. And you tighten up on the way back, so that gives you the the back of the shrimp, which looks fine. Uh, it's starting to build up that nice taper. Now for the the creeper legs, I'm using this is uh, this is why it's named after the material. So it's the F and F creeper, and in this case it's a bone fish. Uh, but it's a great colour for any shrimp type pattern. And uh, obviously you can see the company F and F. Now I've taken the length out. So I'm just gonna bear the core a wee bit so I can catch this in. So on the way back down, make sure this is nice and tight. Now where I'm gonna catch it in is about halfway, so it's always I prefer to catch something on the way down. It's much easier to get it up against the area where you want it to start, which is there. Okay, I'm just going to quickly run up and back down, making sure everything's nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do is, with the UV, I'll show you the diamond bright. This is the one I'm using. This one, if you can see, okay. It's a diamond bright, I'll level it up. Uh, it's a UV peril. So I'm going to actually rub the body with the creeper chenille so use this as the body itself so just dub it on something that I don't want just slightly dub it on then we can slide it up get it started just put it on quite loose not too tight I want it to form a nice shape in the body. Work in for some more. It's really easy to the bond. And you can blend this into some rabbit or something else if you want to stretch out to make it last a wee bit longer. Just keep going. See what I like. That's fine. Tiny wee bit more. Just come back on myself a wee bit. And end up just short of the, about 3 or 4 mil from the head. And then we just put the legs in. Nice and tight, just draw it back, spacing them out like a rib. If you put it on too heavy, you can just get, it's just too bulky, I prefer to, just to stretch out a wee bit. And some may even want to reduce this. Even a bit more. It's up to their self. 
But what I'm going to do here is before I tie it off, I'm just going to make a space for the thread. So I'm bringing out the material, which has got a very fine, soft fibre in the middle of the core. I'm just going to bring it around, catch it in, so that it's got a, a neat, neat head. Be nice and tight with it. Trim away. Just watch your thread. Then we can tidy the head area up. And then what I like to do, obviously you've got the UV flash or the diamond bright. Just use a piece of velcro. Then bring out some of the obviously the fluff as well as the UV. It's a nice blend. Very tempting to actually trim some of the legs away, but I would keep them there just now. Like you could either trim the top or so you've got more of a shrimp shape shrimp like shape. But I would just leave it, see how it goes. If you're ever going to try the pattern or try the material out, just tidying the head area. Now the other thing you can do. If you want to get it down a wee bit more, you could use eyes, but obviously to get it to sit right, I mean to sit this way, the way it needs to be, I mean if you want it on top it will flip up like this, if you want it on the underside it will stay like that, so it's up to yourself, you just dumbbell eyes on at this point or just before it, so it's, it's up to yourself. Tidying this head a wee bit. Like that. Or you could weight the body itself so that it flips it around. But most of the flies or the shrimps I've tied, uh, I've just, there's not many have weight, so I say all we have to do, I'm just going to use the velcro a wee bit just to brush it back. Now, all we have to do, a couple of coats of varnish or so, or even use your resin, it's up to yourself, just to finish off the head, all the way around, and there we are, and that's a, the creeper shrimp, named after the material, it's just a very basic shrimp like pattern, but these are some of the best ones you could fish with, so I hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.